What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and in this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to get three receiver hook zones on the field pretty much in whatever play you want that doesn't already have one. So if you guys don't know, three receiver hooks are probably the best hook zone this year in terms of over the middle of the field and just how they play. Uh, you have the three receiver hooks, you have hook curls like you do, like you see right here against uh, cover three sky and then on Tampa 2 you have the vertical hooks and then the mid reads and so I'll show you how to get it first out of cover three sky. There's a few intricacies to it so it's not as simple as you might think. So uh, you might have seen Stevie J running like the uh, his OLB strike two where he gets a hook curl basically on like a cover two blitz or a three receiver hook sorry on a cover two blitz. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you exactly how that's done. So you might think okay if I want to get a hook curl or a three receiver hook keep saying hook curl if you want to get a three receiver hook all you have to do is put a guy who's blitzing into a bluff blitz and notice how I said a guy who's blitzing so if I go straight back to this cover three sky and say I want to put Anthony Barr in a, in a three receiver hook he's in a curl flat say I want to put him in a three receiver hook so the way you do that is by bluff blitzing right right and so if you bluff blitz him he doesn't go out of his curl flat he stays in his curl flat he stays in his original zone so you might think okay well I'll just blitz him first and then bluff blitz him but that doesn't work either. He's still gonna be in his curl flat no matter if you blitz him first and then bluff blitz, he stays in his original zone. So the only way to get a three receiver hook is by bluff blitzing a guy who isn't already in a zone and is currently blitzing. So that's why Ben Gideon over here is gonna end up dropping back into that three receiver hook. Now, it's not that simple though. As you're gonna see here, gun tray, Y flex offset, I'm gonna run levels and what you're going to see is Ben Gideon, who's in that three receiver hook, actually ends up matching up, as you can see, out in the flat, manning up on Devonta Freeman. And that's not the three receiver hook behavior you want. And so you might be wondering, you know, why is he doing that three receiver hook? That's not what he should be doing, ideally. And so maybe, you know, you might think it's a linebacker thing. So maybe you try, you can do it on the D line too. You can put Danielle Hunter in, in bluff blitz him, put him in a three receiver hook and then snap the ball. But once again, he's going to do the same thing as I get some weird A gap right there. Uh, but once again, he matches and goes out man to man onto the running back. And so that's just not what you want. So the way to get a three receiver hook consistently is you have to have the three receiver hook has to be on the side of the strong side of the formation. So in this case, I have three receivers to the left of the quarterback and two to the right. So the left side of the field is going to be the strong side. So that means in order to get a three receiver hook to play how you want him to play, it has to be coming from the left side of the field. So in this case, I can put Everson Griffin into a three receiver hook. You can snap the ball and now you're going to see he plays over the middle of the field. Obviously, it's Everson Griffin, but see how aggressively he plays. Did you see how he chucked the receiver over the middle of the field? And that's why people love three receiver hooks this year is because of how they play over the middle of the field. What you're going to see right here is the defensive end griffin gonna go ahead chuck the in route by who's that taylor gabriel and it just throws off a lot of timing over the middle of the field this year especially i mean that's a defensive lineman in regs and and you know mutt with a 91 zone linebacker or something it's, it's very very serious and very good and so that's how you're going to be able to do it now say you want a linebacker on the left side in this case i came out three four odd as an example you're going to have to flip the play to get anthony Barr blitzing and then you can put Barr bluff blitz him get him into that three receiver hook and now he's going to play like you would want him to over the middle of the field right there he drops back underneath underneath and you get that normal action so it's not just bluff blitzing a guy who's on the line of scrimmage it's bluff blitzing it has to be a guy who's already blitzing and then it also has to be a guy who's on the strong side of the formation or else he has the potential to play match coverage now you might ask you know what about a purely symmetrical formation let's go to something like uh, i'll stay in three four odd but let's go to something like single back ace and say skinny post. And honestly, I am not sure. Uh, whenever you come to symmetrical formations, um, what you're going to see here, if I bluff blitz, say, Ben Gideon on the right side and say, you know, uh, for argument's sake, say I have, say, a Street Cooper and, and swing Freeman. So Freeman's going to swing out to the, to the outside. See how Gideon plays the normal three receiver hook. He's over the middle of the field, just like you would think he's going to. Now, if I do it, to the other side, however, say I, I streak Toy Lolo, swing Freeman, and say I do the same thing over here. Say I flip the play now and bluff blitz Anthony Barr. So Barr's in that three receiver hook. But what you're going to see whenever Freeman swings out, Barr is matching up onto Freeman. So for some reason, to the left side he matches and to the right side he doesn't. It doesn't really make sense to me. I'm not sure why. 
So if you're going to implement this into your scheme defensively, um, it would be good to know and you might have to go into practice mode and just lab it and see kind of how they change based off of what formation you're going up against. Try and lab, you know, some of the more popular symmetrical formations, maybe like tight slots and deuce close, stuff like that, just to see how they're going to react. But generally, it has to be a guy who's on the line of scrimmage already blitzing, and he has to be on the strong side of the field to get that normal three receiver hook behavior that a lot of people like and, and a lot of people think it's the best over the middle zone this year in Madden 18 but that's going to be it for this video guys as always thank you so much for watching I hope this was able to help you out and until next time take it easy